Hi, scientists. Um, so in case you weren't able to come to the Zoom meeting today, I'm going to do a quick rundown of what we talked about. So during the Zoom meeting today, we talked about the law of super, superposition. All right, it's a compound word. You say it just like how it's spelled. Um, and we're also going to talk about how this helps scientists understand evolution. Um, so first of all, let's take a look. At uh, um, this picture here, all right. So here we have um, we've got a couple different tire tracks. We've got some paw prints. We've got some footprints. So um, we're gonna say Miss Hewitt um, had um, so each of these tire and foot and paw prints represents someone who came to visit Miss Hewitt. Um, I started off the day having two boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Um, I noticed, um, that at the end of everyone coming to visit Miss Hewitt, my two boxes were gone. And I'm pretty sure the first person who visited me and the last person who visited me took those boxes. So if I wanted to find this person, which tracks would I follow? Whose tracks would I follow to find my missing boxes of Girl Scout cookies? Well, we can look by seeing um, which prints are on top of which. So if we look here, we can see that it looks like the orange footprints are on the very top, right? That probably belongs to the last person who visited me. So I should find follow the orange prints to find one of my boxes, and it looks like the thick double, uh, or it looks like car car tracks, so the two lines car tracks on the bottom here, the really thick tire tracks on the bottom here, they look like they're on the very bottom. So that person is another person's tracks I should follow to find my other box of cookies. So just like how we thought about it, we stood, we looked at it to figure out which tracks we should follow to find the cookies, Scientists do the same thing, but to figure out who came first and, and which rocks developed first and last. So we call this the law of superposition. Basically, if rocks are on the bottom, sorry, if rocks are on the top, if, if rocks are on the top, they're the youngest rocks. They were placed and formed um, the latest, all right, the latest new, all right, new rocks. And the oldest rocks, right? The rocks that were formed first are going to be on the bottom, all right? And we use the law of superposition to also figure out um, where we might be able to find fossils. So um, if I want to find a really old fossil, I should dig down quite a few layers. If I want to find a young fossil, I should not dig that far. So if we look here at the picture on the right, or we see we have fossils A, B, C, and D. All right, the oldest fossil is fossil D. It's in the fourth rock bed, it's on the bottom, all right? And so that animal lived long before the animal that made fossil A, right? Fossil A is the youngest, it's on the very top, all right? So we're going to um, look at a few examples and talk more through this. And by the end, you should be able to constantly answer a few questions about the law of superposition. So just to reiterate home um, how to think about this, all right? So I want you to think about your laundry basket, okay? If I'm, you know, doing laundry, okay, the clothes that typically are going to be at the top of my laundry basket are the clothes that I just wore yesterday, okay? Whereas the clothes in the bottom of the basket are going to be clothes that I wore a long time ago, all right? So those are going to be the clothes I wore a while back. So there you go. There you can see it. So clothes I wore more recently are going to be on the top. Clothes I wore a while back are going to be on the bottom. Same thing. If you dig through your backpack, you'll find that older assignments will probably be on the bottom of the backpack, on the bottom of the binder, whereas newer assignments are going to be on the top. All right. The same idea is true for rocks. So here we have a picture of the Grand Canyon. Um, what is really cool about the Grand Canyon is that all right it was this um all right all the all these rocks um uh, were layered on top of each other and then a river slowly carved through the rocks to make the canyon 
So if we look at the top, all right, the top rocks, the very top of the canyon are the youngest rocks. And the rocks at the very bottom of the canyon are going to be older, okay? So in short summary, the deeper we dig, the farther back in time we see. So by looking at this picture here, let's say I am out in the field, all right, I'm looking for rocks, I'm looking for fossils, and I just happen to, you know, come across this in the real world. I would say that fish evolved first because they're on the bottom layer followed by dinosaurs because they're in the middle they're they're in the layer that comes next and then monkeys evolved after that because they're at the very top so let's do a few practice questions and then we're going to look at a little bit more difficult problems so here are the picture right looks like i've got a skull i've got a skeleton then in rock layer c i have a looks like a fish and indeed I have an animal called a trilobite all right so they're really old animals all right think of, they kind of look like horseshoe crabs they've been around for a very long time so which rock layer and fossil is the oldest do you have an answer it's going to be d so d is on the bottom so it's the oldest trilobites are the oldest fossil out of all these fossils in the picture, all right? What about the youngest? Well, if I look at the top, A, that's gonna be the answer. If it's on the top, it's young. If it's on the bottom, it's old, all right? And we know the fossils are gonna be roughly the same age of the rock because of how fossils are formed, all right? We'll learn more about how fossils are formed next week, but for right now, all you need to know, if it's on the bottom, it old. On the top, it young, all right? So let's look at a much harder problem. So this is the problem from today's packet. As you see here, we have site one, and we have a lot of different layers here. Layers A, which is on the bottom, all the way through G, all right? G is on the top. So without any other information, without knowing age without knowing years without anything else i can tell you right now a is the oldest rock layer and g is the youngest all right anything in layer g are going to be much more recently evolved animals and organisms and anything in layer a is going to be really old okay so and we can look to see when various animals existed so i can tell you that plants existed during G, F, and D. So if I find out how old those rocks are, I can find out that plants have been around for as long as layer D. Whereas my friend the trilobite looks here, all right, trilobite, in uh, wherever this area of rock was uncovered, all right, they were only around for rock layer A. They went extinct after that because I don't see them in any other rock layers, okay? Um, now, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, they're extinct permanently, okay? It just means in that area where the rock was formed, all right, that um, that animal wasn't present. So if we look here, we can see that B, in layer B, we have fish. But we don't have fish anywhere else. That probably meant that a long time ago, probably during layers A and B, where this rock was, it was underwater. And when the water went away, it took the fish, trilobites, the ammonites, right, and took them away, and then this was no longer underwater. It was land, so we got dinosaurs, we got plants, we got birds, we eventually got mammals. So let's answer a few questions together. So, give me one second to pull up the questions. Sorry that they're not going to be on the screen, but that's okay. So, which layer is the oldest? Well, I just said, if it's on the bottom, it's the oldest. So the answer is rock layer A. Okay, my next question. Which came first, dinosaurs or trilobites? Well, I'm going to see which one evolved first. Which one do I find before the other? So if I look here, all right, I've got my trilobite. That's this icon here. I've got my dinosaur, which is represented as footprints, OK? 
Okay. Second C, dinosaurs were around for layers F and D. Um, I see trilobites are only in layer A. Since A comes before layers D and F, trilobites came first. All right. The next question I'm not going to answer for you, but I'm going to tell you how I would find the answer. Okay. And then um, the rest of the packet is up to you. Okay. Let me just get it. There we go. Okay. So the next question is, which organism is the youngest? So I'm looking at which one has evolved the last. All right. That's what I mean. Which one came around the last? So the first thing we should look at is the top layer. That layer formed last. So it's on the top. So it's the youngest. So let's look at site. So let's look at layer G. I have three organisms here. We've got mammals. Looks like we've got some plants and we have birds. Now, two of these show up in the layer before end. And in layer G, I have an organism that doesn't appear in any other layers. So that means it evolved more recently. It evolved, it's the youngest type of animal for this area, okay? So, again, let's very quickly review one last time what the law of superposition is. So, the law of superposition, if it's on the top, it's young, it's new, it's recent. If it's on the bottom, it's old news, all right? It hasn't been around that long. Oh, I'm sorry, scratch that. It hasn't, you know, these are things that have been around a long time ago, all right? Probably don't see it anymore, all right? Um, all right, again, think about your clothes, think about your backpack. If I were to, you know, if you were to dig through your backpack, you know, you would find assignments from, you know, quarter, maybe even quarter two, all right? Things that you haven't talked about in a really, you know, you might find some gravity handout or, you know, something on, you know, you know, universes or maybe even some density problems, all right? Things we haven't talked about for a really long time. But at the top of your backpack, you're going to probably find things that we've talked about, you know, that we talked about more recently before we went online. So... Um, that's the law of superposition. If it's on the top, it's young, it's recent, it's new. If it's on the bottom, it old news. <laughs> okay? If you have questions, feel free to ask them um, on Google Classroom or email me. And I hope to see all of you again in the future very soon. Bye-bye.